guys like Sparks? Did we bring Sparks? We brought Sparks. Okay, we brought some Sparks. What does it take to make the impossible possible? There we go. Did you see that? A little science that looks like magic. The more she adds, the more it changes. Let's hear it for the chameleon colors, yay! You know, lots of magic tricks are based on science, but we scientists are blabbermouths, so you want to know? For more than 40 years, Bruce and Kitty have been mixing up magic and science. There you go. No abracadabras, but lots of oohs and ahs. What? We love the six, seven, and eight-year-olds. I mean, that's a great group because they're, they're still at that point where they can suspend disbelief. They still think that rabbits live in hats and that coins can be plucked out of their ears. The secret to their show, teach science with magic and never lose the magic of science. Three. We know that once you can get a child to ask how it's done, their mind is open and they're ready to learn. They have other secrets too. You'll find them in the basement of their home. This is the Magic Museum. Around here, you'll find dice, cards, coins, rings, and handcuffs. Once used by the amazing Randy, David Copperfield, and even a few clowns. Not many adults have a toy room, right? <laughs> also preserved. Well, maybe some of them do, but they're not this kind of toy. <laughs> the magic set that got it all started a gift to Bruce when he was five years old. It's sort of gotten out of hand. This is the disease in the final phases. Kitty discovered the magic when she was 17 and Bruce needed an assistant for his show. This act has been together ever since. No, you don't get tired. It's, it's the rush of, of doing the show and having someone like what you do. Their chemistry and magic have kept the show going for decades, looking for secrets and inspiring young minds, especially one child. My first memory of my parents was peeking out behind the curtain at the Paramount, watching my dad on one knee eating fire. The magician would spin it around. In fact, their son is arguably their best known secret. But I'm not a mummy. Steve Spangler is Bruce and Kitty's oldest child. Steve, the science guy. You know, you've right seen here. him on Nine in. News. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push it in. Ready? On Ellen DeGeneres. Three, two, one. <laughs> and in classrooms throughout Colorado. It's hard to be a slime expert unless you're about five years old. But Steve remembers his own classroom expert. days and how he tried to explain One, to his two, teacher three, his parents' four. hobby. Oh, well, I would say my dad eats fire and makes people float and he cuts my mom in three pieces. Turns out that overactive mm -hmm. imagination was really the right. truth about life in their home. Hey, everybody, come on over. My parents, <laughs> we're going to eat fire. Steve. <laughs> come on over. <laughs> It's like a weird factory over here. <laughs> Wonder, discovery, exploration, point. and laughter. A day Family in the life the of the Spanglers. Together. Family picnic. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Mom, come here, get some. Kim Christensen, 9 News.